Hi, this is David. Today we're going to talk about how to create an Azure SQL Server logical server. Now, often if you're creating any kind of a database or a data warehouse or anything that involves SQL Server, it'll prompt you on the way to create a new logical server or to select an existing one. I want to show you how to create one in advance without putting anything in it. First, we navigate to the Azure portal and log in, and then we click the big plus button in the top right, right, as we do with anything. And we can go down to the databases here, but I, I know that I'm looking for SQL Server, something in here. So I can just type in the search box, SQL Server, and it brings up a few things here. I want this SQL Server logical server. This thing describes what I'm going to build here with a, from links to documentation. I will click on the Create button. And then from right here, I'm going to specify, select my subscription. I only have one, but you may have multiple ones. Select or create a resource group. Let's create a brand new one here. I'll call it DG Test GCast RG. Um, that's just a logical container for all of uh, a bunch of resources. You can manage them together. I have to give the server a name. This has to be globally unique because we're, we can refer to it using this name dot database dot windows dot net. So if we have a conflict, like somebody else has probably used test, then it says no, somebody's already used that already. So I have to create one that I use that it hasn't been used before. So I'll call it DG test uh, GCast SQL server like that and actually there's some rules about that no reserve words you can see that right there and like for example I've tried to put capital letters in here I can't do that it has to be all lowercase letters so there's some other restrictions as well it'll tell you right away if you've specified something that isn't supported and then I'm gonna put this one in how about West Central US that sounds like a good spot for it and then I'll give it an admin login uh, this is something you just want to keep yourself and maybe a few other people don't want to spread this around but I'm gonna log in I'll make myself the admin no, actually I'll make uh, admin. I'll call it admin how about that um, oh it doesn't like that name it's too it's too common so I will I'll, I'll give it like that and then I'll put my super secret password in and there are rules about that so if I'm not careful then you know, that one's too short and it has to contain what uh, numbers and letters and, and uh, special characters, things like that. So, so I'll just type it in right here, P-A-S-S-W-O-R. Hopefully I don't, I'm not saying that out loud. Um, and that one meets it and I have to make sure that I do it again just in case I mistyped it. Right here. And there's some other options. These are all optional but you can put in firewall rules right now. It's probably a good idea. Um, allow Azure services. The, oh, this one actually, this is a special firewall rule. This says that other parts of Azure can access that. So generally that's a good idea if, you have, if you're building an application and say you have an app service that's accessing the, the databases on this database server, then you want to turn this on right here. Uh, that's the only thing on here. Let's go to the next additional setting. Uh, some extra, you can pay a little bit extra and get some uh, advanced security. I'm going to skip that for now. You could put some tags on here. This doesn't really do anything per se. It just makes it easier to organize things. Um, and this right here will just tell you everything that you've selected so far and warn you if there are any problems in what you so far. If, if, if there are any problems, then likely this create button will not be enabled and you click the previous button or go up to one of these tabs and correct that problem right here. You can also download a template for this. So if you want to automate this process, create the server in the future, maybe multiple times, or maybe for a client, then you can download that and script it using things like the CLI and PowerShell and do it that way. But I'm just gonna click on create and let this thing go. And you'll see right here, the status that it is submitting and what's going on here and your deployment is underway. underway. It typically takes a few minutes so I'm going to pause the video right here and wait until it's done and then just show you the results. And just like that, we are done. It took maybe two minutes to complete the whole thing. Uh, this screen popped up. Your deployment is complete with a go-to resource right here. And now we have, we can manage this thing. Uh, here's the overview. Um, one thing you probably want to do is go down to the firewall settings. There's a link over here, or you can search for it. You can find it in here. I like to search for things with this button here, firewall. There is a rule that says that you cannot connect to this unless you've been uh, your IP address has been explicit. Give it explicit permission to connect 
to this server. And so what you want to do is if you have a server that needs to connect to it, get that server's IP address and add it in here. One thing you can do really quickly is click on this add client IP. And you see it's, it's actually displaying the client IP right here, but it's telling you that this IP address is just from 122 to 122 is allowed to access that. And that's important because that allows you to use your local tools on your local computer to access it. So if you have SQL Server Management Studio or Visual Studio or any, any kind of tool that you can um, uh, access this that you want to use to manage the, the databases on the server, then you can do that. So I'll uh, close that and see right here if you want to later on you can add some databases to this or whatever. That's, uh, we'll do some things in a future video to show some of those capabilities. But today you have learned how to create an Azure SQL Server logical server. This is David. Thank you for watching.